Hello and welcome to part two of Easy Peasy Balloon Collins. Now let's do a little review. In lesson one, you learned of how to make a stack balloon column. And learning that, you learned how to make duplets and quads. Just remember that duplets and quads is the foundation for classic balloon decor. Once you learn those techniques, you can make any design that you want with duplets and quads. So let's get started with our supplies. We're gonna use 37 11 inch balloons that have been sized down to a size six. One 260 Q. This is gonna be used for your rigging point. A floor lamp, and this was purchased from Walmart. And I have removed two of the screw-on poles because I wanted the pole to be shorter. And you're gonna use a jumbo balloon as your topper. Now this can be a full balloon or a latex. You just want something large. This particular balloon is about a 34 inch. Now let's go ahead and get started building on our collar. We have two duplets, one a orange and one a white. Color of your choice when you're building yours. We're gonna take them, we're gonna make a quad, marry them together, twist the balloons across the top two once, twice. Cause we want to have our colors opposite of each other. Orange, opposite of each other and the white opposite of each other. So we have white, orange, white, orange. We're gonna twist them onto the pole. Now the key to getting your spiral is going to be to twist twice. One to lock and the second one is to help us to keep our spiral technique. So we're gonna twist once to lock it onto the pole. Then we're gonna twist again to make sure and push down in the middle to make sure that our balloons are opposite of each other. Remember, they should be opposite. The colors, orange, orange, white, white. Okay, let's do that again. Take two duplets to make a quad, marry them together. Gonna twist two balloons on the top twice. One, two to make sure our colors are opposite of each other. Slide them onto the pole. We're gonna twist twice. Twist once to lock. Twist twice to get our spiral pattern. Okay, now let's step back. Make sure our balloons are in those grooves, in those spaces and they are in the spaces. Once we do that, we're gonna push our hand down in the middle to make sure our balloons are secure and tight. Once we do that, we can mash them back together to make sure that we have not pushed them too far out and they're not balanced. Okay, so let's do another one. Take two duplets. Marry them together to get a quad. Twist the top two twice. One, two. You want to make sure your colors are opposite across from each other or down. Push them onto the pole and we're going to wrap twice. The first twist is going to be to lock the balloons onto the pole. Then the second twist is going to be to get your spiral pattern. Okay, as you can see, we want to make sure that the balloons are in the groove and we want to make sure that we have our pattern. We have all white, we have all orange, we have all white, and we have all orange. Looks good. So we can go ahead and push them down in the middle to make sure that they're tight and there are no gaps, no spaces. A lot of people say, why do I have gaps, spaces in my columns? Because you're not locking the balloons 
and you're not pushing them down to get all of that space locked down and make sure the balloons are pushed together. Once we push them together, we're gonna push them back in just to make sure that they're not out of proportion. Let's go to our next set. Du take two of our duplets, marry them together, twist the top two twice. One, two. We have our color colors opposite of each other. We're going to push them onto the pole and we're going to twist twice. Once to lock them and then the other to get our pattern. Once to lock, twist again to get the pattern. Now let's step back, take a look. We see that we still have our spiral, all white, all orange, and we have them in the gaps. So we can go ahead and mash our fingers down into our balloons to make them tight. Adjust them to make sure that they're good. Always step back and take a look at your design to make sure you still have your pattern and everything is in sync. Let's continue to put our bouquets on. We're gonna move this over out the way. We have our two duplets. We're gonna marry them together and we're gonna twist the two balloons, the top two, twice. One, two. Slide them onto the pole and we're going to twist twice, once to lock, and then once again to help us to get our pack. Okay, so now you should still have your pattern all orange, all white. Make sure there are no, they're in the gaps, the, you have a balloon in each gap. And you can go ahead and press down. And then let's kind of push them together to make sure we didn't press them too far where they're not balanced. Take your two balloons, make a quad, twist twice, one, two. Make sure your colors are opposite of each other or across from each other. Put them onto the pole, twist once to make sure that they are locked. Twist again to make sure we have our spiral pattern. As you can see, we still have a pattern, all white, all orange. If we turn it, it should still be all white, all orange, press down. Mash them in. Then, just kind of mash them back together. Now we're gonna go ahead and put our um, 11 inch balloon on the top so we can cover this metal because we don't want it to pop our balloons. So we're gonna open up the balloon, the neck of the balloon, and just put it on the top of the pole. And this is what it should look like. Let's finish adding the rest of our balloons. Our two duplets, we're gonna make a quad. Twist, top two twice. One, two. Slide them onto the pole of the balloon and twist twice again. Once to lock and once to make sure that they are in the pattern. Mash down and then squeeze them together to make sure that you don't have any gaps or holes. Now the last one we're gonna use for our topper. So let's move this back over. Our 
last two balloons, we're going to go ahead and make our quad. One, two. Our balloons are across from each other, the same colors. And we're going to place it here. And we're going to put our topper onto this quad. Okay? You're going to take your jumbo foil. And we're going to use this 260 as our rigging point. Place it onto the neck of the foil balloon, and we're gonna start rolling the foil neck onto the 260. Roll it all the way up until you get to the neck of the foil balloon. Then you're gonna tie it into a knot. Start it again. Roll it as tight as you can get it. And tie your knot. Okay, this is what you should have. And again, you're gonna use those two tails as your rigging point. So, we're gonna place our foil with both of the tails on each side. We're gonna hold the balloon down because we, we're trying to match this down or tie this down into the quad and we want it to be as tight as possible. So take one of your necks and you're gonna wrap it around your balloon maybe three times, one, two, and three and let it go. Take the other side of the tail 260 and wrap it three times. One, two, three and let it go. You're gonna flip your balloon over and you're gonna tie the 260s into a knot. And this is what you should have. Now, we're gonna take our quad and our 260 and we're gonna place them onto the body of this column. Well, once we place it on here, we need to make sure, however we place it, that we have our spiral. Because if we do it this way, that's incorrect because we have orange and then we have a white. So make sure how, when you place it on there that you have your spiral design. So you're gonna go in here and you're gonna find the neck of your balloon. Cause this, we're gonna use it as our rigging. And you're gonna take this neck and you're gonna tie it around your top layer and your second layer. So. You're gonna go all the way under your second layer. Go under, come back up and around the first layer. Then you're only gonna go around this first layer as many times as you can. See, I still have my 260 and I'm going around, around, around until it gets too short that you can't go around anymore. Then you're just gonna let it go. Okay, keep holding it. Now let's go on this side. Let's find our other 260. We have it right here. We're gonna go around two balloons. The top layer. One, two. Go down, back up, and then just around the top layer. One, and keep going until you don't have any more balloon left. And then I'm gonna let it go. Now, we need to adjust because we have done a lot of moving and we just need to step back, make sure everything is correct, everything is in position. We still have our spiral. 
and everything is in place. Just do a little adjusting as needed. Take Step back and take a look. We have all orange, we have all white, we have all orange, we have all white, and we have all orange. So, this is the spiral design. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to make this for me, and I want you to send me pictures on Instagram. If you don't have a large topper, then I want you to at least make the bottom. Keep it in mind that I pre-inflated these balloons with my um, sizer, and it automatically sized these for me. So when you're inflating your balloons, you need to make sure that they are all the same size. This is not an organic look. So with classic balloon decor, your balloons are all the same size. So take a picture, send it to me, and I want to see what you did. Don't forget to practice, practice, practice. Why? Because when the decor looks good, you look good. See you in advance class for balloon columns.